Nearly 40% of Tanzania is protected land, including 22 national parks. You can find many of them in northern Tanzania. We'll begin just a couple of hours away from Mount Kilimanjaro at Tarangiri. Tara means river, and Giri means a certain uh, animals called warthog. During daytimes, when it's hot, these animals are going down the river to wallow so as to cool down their body temperature. And when these people used to see the warthog frequently near the river wallowing, they decided to call out the river of warthogs. You can still frequently see warthogs wallowing, but they're not what Tarangiri is best known for. Here at Tarangiri National Park, it's nearly a thousand square miles that's home to dozens of different species of animals, including lions, wildebeest, zebras, and elephants. And for the elephants, there are many inside the national park. This is because the park is surrounded by many villages, and uh, the villagers are dealing with agriculture, and some of them are pastoralists. And also in some areas, we have a game reserve where there is hunting. And as you know, elephants have got a good memory to recognize bad things happening to their life. And uh, in these hunting blocks, sometimes they hear the sound of bullets, which make them scared. So they found inside the park, it's more safe than outside the national park. So that's why they stay more inside the national park than going outside the national park. Elephants aren't the only animal you'll see on a game drive, but you have to constantly keep an eye out. Sometimes here, yeah, it's quite hard to see cats like lions, leopards, but uh, this will depend on how lucky you are. Sometimes you're very lucky. Never seen anything like this? Never seen anything this close. Close to Tarangiri, you'll find another national park at Lake Minyara. It's smaller, and two-thirds of it is covered by water. It's known for attracting lions that frequent the trees, and it's a popular spot for bird watching. Lake Minyara can house as many as 400 different species, like crowned cranes, African fishing eagles, and southern ground hornbills. So these southern ground hornbills are super cool. Um, they'll eat all kinds of vertebrate animals, lizards, snakes, um, small rodents, things like that. And so they actually take it in their beak and they smash it on something against the ground um, because they, can't, they don't have uh, beaks to pull things apart. So they will smash it on the ground to break up all the bones so they can swallow it down easier. The word Gorongoro comes from Maasai language where they, it means the sound which is coming from the bell. Because always Maasai put one of their cows bell. This will alert them when their cows are too far from where they are because the bell will be ringing and make a sound. And because Maasai were allowed to go down the crater, so when these cows were moving down the crater, the bell was making a sound. And then they decided to call it a the Ngorogoro crater gets its name because of the crater that sat on top of the volcano that was once here. But after that volcano collapsed, today it's technically a caldera. But we're still calling it a crater due to how it was formed in the first stage. But in reality, this is not a crater, it is a caldera. Because when you look at the characteristics of crater and caldera, in crater nothing can survive. But here we have life of different creatures, so which means that is not a real crater, it is a caldera. The researcher said the mountain was too high, maybe more than Kilimanjaro mountain, and the upper part of the mountain was too heavy than the middle part of the mountain. I mean the wall of the mountain was weak. It's now 1,000 feet from the rim to the floor. Some animals will travel in and out, others will just stay. Inside the crater, we have five prides of lions and it's always five prides of lions and this is because the area is too small so there's no enough space for the new 
tried to establish their territories inside the crater. And what's happening within these prides, it's only the males which change the prides. So whenever the new male come and challenge the dominant male of the prides and win the battle, he'll take the prides. Many animals pass through the crater on their way northwest to the Serengeti. The word Serengeti comes from the Maasai. It means endless plains. And in some areas, it doesn't look so different than Oklahoma. At nearly 12,000 square miles, it's the country's largest national park, established in 1951. And it's here you'll see one of the seven wonders of the natural world, mass migration. Wildebeest following the rains in search of greener pastures. The wildebeest grunts, you know, a thousand wildebeest going across the Serengeti. And in your tent in the middle of the night, you just hear thousands of grunts. I mean, it, it, nothing could prepare you for that. But it can also be a dangerous journey. I never would have thought to see something like that. You know, here, here it was right by the road, and you see a uh, female lion's taking down a, a wildebeest and is proceeding to, you know, just suffocate it and dispatch it and then just start to devour it. I mean, who, who would have thought you'd ever seen something like that? Many visitors certainly hope, but you never know what you'll see in the parks in Tanzania.